Donna Thornton, where neighbors are worried about a possible neighborhood hazard. And what is leaking from an old shopping center could cost millions to clean it all up. Investigator Rick Sounder live there this evening. So, Rick, what is the problem? Well, Karen, back in the 1950s, this was the place, a brand new shopping center when they were really becoming popular. But since then, many of the stores have left, including this one. The dry cleaners is long gone, but left behind is a heck of a mess. Toxic chemicals beneath the surface. Catherine Pardikes is one of the area residents who's concerned. You can't put those kinds of things into the ground and expect that everything is going to be fine. The city of Thornton acknowledges the ground beneath there is contaminated with chlorinated solvents. It's pretty high levels in the groundwater and the soil beneath the site. This was once the early Thornton Shopping Center. Now it's fallen on hard times with a spreading hazardous waste problem. Across the street is a daycare and the area to the east is filled with homes. They could have fixed less of a problem than instead of waiting until today. The city says it's the responsibility of the current owner of this property to pay for the cleanup. Did that owner know about this when he bought it? Uh, no, he didn't. Um, we, we know him pretty well. He took title to the property without doing an environmental assessment. So now these people are wondering if the city will get stuck with all or part of the bill. I think that the owner of the property ought to pay for all that because uh, it's his problem, not the taxpayers. The city sees this all as a positive, paying for part of the cleanup and getting a new development in return. But a lot of the people who live around here are worried that the city will be taken to the cleaners. Excuse the pun. <laughs> Live in Thornton, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First. All right, Rick. We got this story from a viewer like you, so if you have a story idea, you can call our tip line. Send us an email through cbsdenver.com.